In this problem, we're being asked to solve for w. And when we solve for a variable, we want to get the variable alone on one side of the equal sign, and usually a number on the other side. Well, how do we do that here? We've got it messed up with a fraction. So we've got 5 times w over 2. Hmm. Well, one thing to know is that when you have a, a variable multiplied to the top of a fraction, you can rewrite that as the fraction itself times w. The reason we can do that is w is really just w over 1. And so for multiplying, it would be 5 over 2 uh, times uh, w over 1. We'd multiply across the top, we'd get 5w. Multiply across the bottom, get 2. So it's really the same thing. 5 halves times w is the same as 5w over 2. And then we've got equals 35. The reason I wrote it that way is because we want to look at this fraction by itself. This is the important part. It's the part we want to get rid of. It's being multiplied by w, and we want to get rid of that. To get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is just the fraction upside down, so we would be multiplying by 2 over 5 instead of 5 over 2. When you do that, everything cancels. The 2's cancel, the 5's cancel. This all resolves to 1. 1 times w is just w, so that's fantastic. We can't forget to do it to the other side, though. The rules uh, of algebra state whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. So we've got 2 fifths over here. And so we've got to calculate this. Let me rewrite this. So far, we have w equals 35 times 2 fifths. And when I do a problem like this, where I take a whole number and I multiply it by a fraction, what I think is the top is multiply and the bottom is divide. And then I do whichever one makes most sense to do first. 35 divided by 5 would be 7. And 7 times 2 would be 14. So 14 would be our answer there. You can always punch this into a calcu calculator. Take 32 divided by 2, sorry, divided by 5 times 2. Or you could even punch in 2 divided by 5 times 35. Doesn't matter what order you do it in. You're going to come up with 14 for that one. So that is how to solve for a variable when it's tangled up with a fraction.